Hey, good morning. Uh, welcome to um, our devotions this week. And uh, I was off for a week uh, doing hunting. I can confess I did not get any deer, saw a few, but enjoyed some quality time with my grandchildren, <clears throat> especially my grandsons who came out to the deer stand with me. So that was a lot of fun. But our, for our devotions today, I wanted to just share uh, a verse from the book of Zechariah and uh, open with that. I would encourage you maybe to look at that first chapter in the book of Zechariah. Um, there's always uh, a time when dilemmas arise and um, it seems like there's not a whole lot of hope. We have lived through much of that this year. But this uh, word from Zechariah chapter um, uh, chapter 1, verse 17. The Lord will again comfort Zion and again choose Jerusalem. This uh, reading finds the people of Israel going through a difficult time. Um, they have forgotten who their God was. They have not been attentive to worship. And there's been a very uh, dark time. And often when dark times persist, uh, we sometimes give up. And I don't know if you've ever been through a time when you just felt like giving up, like, what's the point? Um, I think that when that happens, God tends to try and intervene in some way to just remind us that things are not as bad as they seem and that God is still in control. Um, I think that there have been moments this past year where we all kind of wondered, man, I wonder what the future holds. What is important about that is that's an opportunity too, because we tend to be searching at that time as the people of Israel were searching. And God came with the word. And there's a number of dreams and visions that Zechariah is having about this. Uh, it would probably would have been a time when few dreams were positive. Uh, but uh, Zechariah uh, dreams a dream of God restoring Israel. And God will restore us too. Uh, we are living in a, a time where it seems like nothing is changing. In fact, we're kind of going back into the pandemic. And, and um, today, however, uh, it is uh, November 16th, Monday morning, and we heard that there are our new possible vaccines coming out for the coronavirus. So hopefully, I don't care who comes up with this. I don't care what political party gets credit for it. I really don't. What I do care about is that we see that that uh, things are, are going to get better. So um, we can live with our fears or we can um, or we can see and envision something bigger and better. And I invite you to see your cup full. Um, it's been emptied, but it, it's going to be filled again. And uh, the thirst for family, the thirst for relationships is going to be quenched again when things get better. So thank you for being with us. Uh, love the word of prayer. This was from Christ in our home and uh, the prayer that goes with that. Help me, O Lord, to see the whole picture instead of the few roadblocks that I encounter. Amen. Peace be with you.